So in this video, I will show you a free Wi-Fi design tool and the features it's got. Uh, it could be used for a simpler design, but for more advanced, you would need uh, tools like Ikahau. But this tool is available on this website, KMBM Networks. You just register and log in. Once you do that, it lets you basically do free Wi-Fi design. <clears throat> so once you log in, you'll see this. You're going to have to import a floor plan. And this is a floor plan that you can just Google. I just imported this. Uh, you just have to zoom in, take a snapshot uh, with a snipping tool, and then import it because typically the resolution is not that great. So let me show you how this one works what i've done so i've got basically you have to once you get this tool you have to start drawing the walls i've done a lot of these so these are walls i'm going to i've already drawn these the brown ones are brick walls and the black one is drywall. So let me draw this one that I just deleted. You can choose the wall type. And this is when you drop down, you can select a brick wall. This is lets you do it one time. This guy lets you constantly draw the walls without you have to right click to let it go. So now, once you draw all the walls, you also draw the indoor walls as drywall. So if you see, look at this guy, this is a drywall. You click on this guy, this is a brick wall. Once you have all your walls drawn, what it lets you do, it let, lets you do a predictive Wi-Fi design. So you also have to do a scale can do a scale just like this and just click OK. In the real network Wi-Fi design, you're going to have to know what the scale is, the exact length and width of the floor plan, <clears throat> and then you can input that. After you drew or have drawn all the walls and everything, you can choose your AP, which it kind of prompts you. Before you do that, in the settings, um, I've chosen outdoor. It kind of works better. You can choose different environments, and I'll show you how that makes a difference. So once you choose the AP, you can have and these are some of the APs that are available. I just chose the last one, or you can choose the first one. Let's choose this guy. And um, you can see, once you have this AP on this floor plan with all the walls drawn, it will give you the coverage and it will give you anything 65 or less is, is good. You want to see only the best signal will give you that, which in this case, it's not giving you any. It depends on the AP. But if you go all the way 90, which is a blue, which is almost bad signal. Even 75 is bad. So let's just say it gives you a different, you know, opposite colors. Green should be good, red should be bad. But in this case, the more red, the better. So let's just say you want 65, not less than that. So here's your coverage for your design requirement, which is minus 65 dB. Now you can move this guy around to see if one AP will cover the entire floor plan. And let's just say this floor, this AP is not, you just want to have one AP, it's not working. So you delete that AP and you choose another one. Let's choose this guy. So this AP has better coverage, as you can see, and it's more powerful.
powerful. Right? If you if you want to look at the coverage, the greens are not good, right? The yellow is somewhat, and your coverage needs to be uh, 65 or better. So it's some of these white patches you want to cover. You have a better coverage over here on this left corner, so you move it around to see how you can place the AP for a better coverage. And there you go. I still have some of these spots uh, that are... Now let's, let's just see if you make a, you know, just for demo purposes, obviously, you take a brick wall and just put it here. See what effect it, see? Once you put the brick wall, it it uh, reduces your coverage area, obviously. So, choose this guy, delete it. So this is a great, simple tool for simple designs. If you got, obviously, multiple APs and channel planning and, you know, and then warehouse stuff. Yeah, you need a better tool, but uh, this one doesn't have a channel planner, <clears throat> but it does have, you know, the attenuation uh, variety, not much, but it does. Unless you save it as well. So I think um, that's good for simple designs. But for doing the design, you would need a blueprint for the floor plan. You would also need to know what type of walls do you have or whether they are windows, doors, cubicles, bookshelves, what have you. Now look, look at this, that if I go to this, and this is specific to this tool, if I go to the settings and then change it to an uh, office cubicle, look, look what happens. Um, I don't think it's very accurate, but uh, it does take the environment into uh, consideration and gives you, tries to give you a more accurate uh, predictive design for Wi-Fi. Uh, but uh, I think if you're using this one, the outdoor or warehouse, outdoor is probably the better one because you're not, whatever attenuation you're considering, you have to put it manually, which lets you do, uh, a design of the environment yourself. So this is, you know, I found a free tool there. I'm sure there are other out there, but if you need a poor man's Wi-Fi design or get an idea of, hey, what, how do I do, where do I place my AP for a simpler design, this guy would let you do a lot of uh, playing around based on the AP that you're selecting. And obviously the uh, paid version and uh, advanced tools like Ikahau and all that has a lot more uh, variables, a lot more things to do, sophisticated, advanced designs. Uh, but I found this one to be a good one to just learn things and uh, get an idea of how do you do a Wi-Fi design. Hope this helps.